forced non consensual insertion classification of forced non consensual insertion forced non consensual insertion of penis into the anus it is known as penetrative anal sex or sodomy forced non consensual insertion of penis into mouth it is called known as penetrative oral sex or buccal coitus forced non consensual insertion of any body part other than penis example fingers hand tongue toe into the anus forced non consensual insertion of any object into the anus <coughs> forced non consensual insertion of any body part or any object into the vagina next lesbianism known as tribadism any kind of sexual activity between two or more women here the penetration of anything other than a penis like a dildo vibrator finger toe tongue may occur into vagina or anus anatomy of anus the anal orifice is slit like running anterior posteriorly with marked natural folds with the act of corrugatus cutis ani muscle anal canal is 4 cm long extending from the ano rectal junction to the anus interior of anal canal 4 cm is divided into three parts upper part 1.5 cm shows 6 to 10 vertical anal columns of mucosa the lower ends of anal columns are in the form of mucosal folds called anal valves above each anal valve there is a depression anal sinus in the mucosa the anal glands open their ducts on the anal sinuses and secrete mucin to lubricate anal canal to ease defecation middle part 1.5 cm is also lined by mucosa lower part 1 cm lined by true skin containing sweat and sebaceous glands and hair follicles next anal sphincter a internal anal sphincter it is involuntary is circular muscle coat covering upper 3 cm of anal canal external anal sphincter voluntary consists of a single striated muscle surrounding whole length of the anal canal it is supplied by puden pudendal now homosexuality greek homos is same it means this is it means sexual acts or affection between members of the same sex it may be male homosexuality includes sodomy and female homosexuality including lesbianism the word homosexual was first used in 1869 by hungarian journalist karl maria kurt benny however the german psychiatrist richard von kraft ebing popularized the term in his classic sexology text psychopathia sexualis first published in 1886 section 377 ipc section 377 ipc mentions unnatural sexual offenses prescribe punishment for these offenses as whoever voluntarily has carnal intercourse against the order of nature with any man woman or animal shall be punished with 10 years to life plus fine <coughs> according to this section bestiality that is sexual intercourse with an animal has been included in unnatural sexual offenses because this act is also against the order of nature Section 377 was introduced in IPC in 1861 during the British rule of India it was based on Buggery Act of 1533 according to which sodomy was punishable with death challenge to section 377 IPC in NAS foundation an NGO versus government of NCT Delhi case the NAS foundation challenged the constitutional validity of section 377 IPC and filed the appeal to challenge section 377 IPC in the Delhi High Court and have said that section 377 ipc criminalizes consensual sexual act between adults in private it violates article 14 15 and 21 delhi high court in 2009 in judgment decriminalized homosexual intercourse between consenting adults and this new standard of decriminalization is applicable throughout the territory of india in suresh kumar kaushal versus nas foundation case supreme court in 2013 reversed the verdict of delhi high court in navtej singh johar versus union of india case on 6 september 2018 supreme court of five judges bench including chief justice deepak mishra unanimously decriminalized the section 377 ipc but partially keeping the rest part of the 377 ipc the same court said consensual sex between competent adults including adults of the same sex in a private space is a matter of individual choice it means if sodomy is done by mutual consent of both adult partners active as well as passive agents
then neither of them will be punished. The 150-year-old law was against the right to equality of LGBTQIA plus people, LGBTQIA plus. Community has the same rights as any other member of society. Next, legal status of homosexuality in India. Initially, DSM-1 and 2 considered and included homosexuality as a mental illness, a deviation from normal heterosexual development which was treatable. But in 1973, the American Psychiatric Association removed the concept of homosexuality and thus DSM-3 and subsequent classifications 4 and 5 did not include it and thus at present homosexuality is no longer considered the mental disorder. In 1990, WHO removed homosexuality from the ICD-10 classification. The cultural attitudes about homosexuality changed in US first and then in other countries. But even today, the society does not accept it and a lot of discrimination is there, which is not good and should be prohibited in future. Active agent of sodomy will be punished. 1. If sodomy is committed without consent of a passive agent and 2. If the passive agent is less than 18 years or is under influence of drugs or alcohol. Marriage allows only normal natural intercourse but not anal intercourse. Under section 13.2.2 of Hindu Marriage Act 1955, a wife can apply for a resolution or annulment of marriage if the husband has been guilty of rape, sodomy or bestiality. Gender incongruence or gender dysphoria. At birth, a child is identified either as a male or a female on the basis of appearance of his genitalia. This is known as assigned sex or biological sex. When the child grows normally, the male child identifies himself as a male and female child identifies herself as a female. This is known as gender identity. The terms gender incongruence as per ICD-11 and gender dysphoria as per DSM-5 have replaced the older term gender identity disorder as per ICD-10. Gender incongruence means gender mismatch. Gender dysphoria means distracting, uncomfortable and anxious feeling with gender mismatch. In gender incongruence, a female child identifies herself to be a male. That is, female thinks persistently that she is not female, she is male. And a male child identifies himself to be a female. A male thinks persistently that he is not male, but he is a female. These persons having gender incongruence are known as transgenders. The term transgender was coined by John F. Oliven, psychiatrist, Columbia University, in his 65 reference work, Sexual Hygiene and Pathology. Now transgender has been considered as a third gender. Transgenders are two types. Trans man, that is female to male, FTM, is a transgender person who was assigned female at birth, but whose gender identity is that of a male. Trans woman, male to female, MTF, is a transgender person who was assigned male at birth, but whose gender identity is that of a female. Transsexuals. Although all transgenders have a feeling of gender dysphoria that is distracting, uncomfortable and anxious feeling with a gender mismatch, but some transgenders have tendency to seek even HRT that is hormone replacement therapy or SRS sex reassignment surgery to make their physical appearance and sexual characteristics to match their gender identity. Such transgenders are called transsexuals. Ruling of High Court of Madras 2022. Some medical professionals provide conversion therapy in which they claim to change sexual orientation of a willing person to heterosexual. In today's scenario, any such attempt or intervention, that is conversion therapy, is unethical and shall constitute professional misconduct under Chapter 7 Indian Medical Council Professional Conduct Etiquette Ethics Regulations. It should be banned. Some competencies as per CBME curriculum in the subject of forensic medicine and toxicology were modified accordingly. Similarly, some competencies in the subject of psychiatry were modified accordingly. Next, LGBTQIA plus community. LGBTQIA means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning, intersex, asexual, ally. The plus sign indicates a diversity of many other gender identities and sexual orientations which have to be added further with time. The first four letters LGBT have been used since 1990. June is National LGBTQIA plus Pride Month. GLAAD Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation is an American non-governmental media monitoring organization founded as a protest against defamatory coverage of LGBT people established in 1985. NMC on 13th October 2021 released advisory 
as per directions passed by Honorable Madras High Court in writ petition, instructing authors of forensic medicine and toxicology and psychiatry not to include any unscientific, derogatory, discriminatory, insulting remarks against the LGBTQIA plus community and homosexuals. They were instructed to amend that information about virginity, LGBTQIA plus and homosexuals in their textbooks according to available scientific literature, guidelines issued by the government and directions passed by honorable courts. Medical universities were also requested not to approve the books as recommended books if the books have such remarks. Next, Transgender Person Protection of Rights Act 2019. Definition of Transgender Person, Section 2K. A person whose gender does not match with the gender assigned to that person at birth and includes trans man or trans woman, whether or not such person has undergone SRS or hormone therapy or laser therapy or such other therapy on a person with intersex variations and gender queer or person having such socio-cultural identities as Kinnar, Hijra, Aravani and Jokta. A transgender person TGP may make an application to DM for issuing a certificate of identity as a TGP. Even after that, if he undergoes surgery to change gender, either as a male or female, he can again write to DM to change his gender. Rights of a TGP. Every TGP shall have a right <coughs> to live in his home with family members, not to be excluded from such home, to enjoy and use all facilities in a non-discriminatory manner. SRS and HRT along with counselling shall be provided to TGP by government. National Council for Transgender Persons NCTP advises central government on formulation of policies and programs for TGP, monitors and evaluates such policies and programs, redresses the grievance of TGPs. Offences and Punishment Section 18. No person or establishment shall discriminate against a TGP. Whoever one compels TGP to force or labour, or two denies rights of TGP for using a public place, and three forces a TGP to leave the house, or four injures or endangers the life, safety and well-being of TGP, or five causes abuse, physical, sexual, mental, emotional, economic, will be punished at the punishment of six months to two years plus fine. MLA. In India, the news regarding gender incongruence often appears in newspapers. Article 21 also mentions right to choose gender identity. Article 15 of the Constitution of India prohibits discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. While filing forms, there is not any specific column choice for transgender person. However, other is mentioned. Nalsar is set to become India's first fully gender neutral educational institution established in Hyderabad. Sodomy heading. Sodomy means anal intercourse between two men homosexuals or a man and a woman heterosexual. Note 1. It is known as Sodomy or a sin of Sodom because it was practiced in the city of Sodom near Dead Sea in ancient Rome. Sodom was destroyed by God because of the evil of its inhabitants. Note 2. It is also known as Greek love because it was practiced in Greece at the time of Alexander the Great. Note 3. It is also known as Buggery. The Buggery Act of 1533 was passed by the Parliament of England when Henry VIII was the king. The act remained in force until it was replaced by the Offences Against Persons Act 1828 and buggery remained a capital offence until 1861. Note 4. Sodomy was introduced and became a common practice in India during Mughal period. Note 5. Alexander the Great, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were said to be homosexuals. Some terms related to sodomy are as follows. Sodomite or sodomist means a person who practices sodomy. The sodomite who penetrates is known as active sodomite or active agent and the person who is penetrated is known as passive sodomite or a passive agent. The conditions related to sodomite are as follows. 1. Pedophilia Also known as pederasty Means sex with children. It may also include sodomy. Pedophile is an adult who repeatedly engages in sexual activities with children. Catamite is a boy and a catamitis mitis is a girl who act as passive agent in sodomy. Hebephilia means sexual interest in pre-pubescent adolescent 11 to 14. The sodomite may commit sodomy. Ephibophilia is sexual interest in post-pubescent adults 15 to 19. The sodomite may commit sodomy. Garantophilia is sexual interest in the old age. Male prostitutes eunuchs are of two types. Zananas mean male prostitutes with intact genitalia who live in female dress or transvestite and practice sodomy. They live separately from hijras. Hijras are those males who were castrated, that is, testis removed, before puberty and thus they are impotent and cannot do sex. 
Usually their penis is also cut along with castration. They are actually biologically male and their buccal smear shows male sex chromatin. They usually abduct young boys and castrate them to raise their population. In such males, the wound heals to form scar which invaginates to resemble vulva. Castration before puberty leads to physical characteristics those of females. For example, well-developed breasts, female voice, feminine distribution of fat and hair, feminine movement and behavior. In order to act as a perfect female substitute for prostitution, they wear female dress. Legal status in India. Sodomy between two men, both above 18 years of old, with consent has been legalized. And thus is not an offense only if done in private. Sodomy by a man with a woman, not married to each other with consent, is not an offense if done in private. Sodomy by a man with a woman, not married to each other without consent, is punishable as per Section 377 IPC and 375 IPC. Sodomy between husband and wife. Marriage is taken as implied consent by wife for normal vaginal intercourse and not for anal intercourse. So, sodomy committed by a husband with his wife with or without her consent is an offence under Section 377 IPC. Sodomy between a man and a minor less than 18 years of age, old male or female, will fall under POCSO Act. Under Section 1321 of Hindu Marriage Act, a wife can apply for resolution annulment of marriage if the husband has been guilty of rape, sodomy or bestiality. Other countries. In UK and US, sodomy has been legalized between two consenting adult males of about 21 years of age if it is done in private. The only absolute proof of sodomy is the presence of semen in the anus. Examination of a case of sodomy. Examination of a passive agent of sodomy. Important points. Procedure of examination is the same as that for survivor of rape, prerequisite for examination. Requisition from a police officer who should be above the rank of SI, written informed consent of the victim individual if he is above less than 18 years, the consent of parents or guardians is a must. Female attendant is mandatory if passive agent is a female. Position of the victim for examination. Victim of sodomy is generally a child. Left lateral decubitus position is used in children and knee elbow position is used in adults. Collection and preservation of evidence. Examine clothes including undergarments for seminal stains, fecal stains, blood, mud, hair. Clothes should be dried in air, preserved in sterile paper bags and sent to FSL for analysis. Swabs taken from perianal area, anus and anal canal. Swabs also taken from bite marks for DNA typing. Fluids, blood for venereal disease, HIV and urine. Nail scrapings, hair, head hair, pubic hair, loose hair or any fiber found on the victim. Passive agent of sodomy may be of two types, non-habitual passive agent or the victim. When a person's anus has been penetrated for the first time. Habitual passive agent when a person's anus has been penetrated many times over a long period of time and the passive agent has become habitual. Opinion There is evidence of recent penile anal intercourse. Examination of a non-habitual passive agent or a victim of sodomy. There is forced non-consensual insertion of penis into anus. In a non-habitual passive agent of sodomy, the anus has been penetrated for the first time and mostly without consent or will of passive agent. So, marks of violence injuries are found over the body. Example, bleeding, swelling, pain and tenderness. And the below mentioned findings may be minimal if sodomite has been used, had used lubricant or he had introduced the penis slowly. Injuries, marks of general violence over the body usually present. Note all injuries, size, shape and exact location. Pain during walking and defecation. Local findings at and around the anus. Injuries, abrasion, bruises, laceration, tears, leading to swelling and inflammation. If sudden forceful crush is applied, results, <coughs> results into extensive laceration. If such thrust is applied from posterior, <coughs> it leads to a triangular tear at the posterior quadrant of the anus which is broad base present externally at the rim of the anus and the apex inside the anal canal. If such thrust was applied from front, the same finding will be found at the anterior quadrant of the anus. In children, lacerations are more severe because of great disproportion in size between anus of the victim and penis of the accused. Tearing of sphincter may be there. Diffuse hematoma may be present around and the margin and localized swelling may be there, leading to Laceration or tears are painful and tender and if bleed on touch, it suggests recent penetration. Loss of normal anal tone, anus dilated and loose. 
bleeding or blood stains on and around anus and perineum substances found at anus blood stains fecal matter lubricant semen or loose foreign hairs digital examination may be difficult in two situations one when anal, anal region is extremely painful or two there is a spasm of sphincter in these two situations examination may be carried out under anesthesia proctoscope is used to examine one any deep injury in anal canal and lower rectum and to take swabs for examination of semen examination of a habitual passive agent of sodomy in habitual passive agent of sodomy the anus has been penetrated many times on many occasions usually with the consent or will of the passive agent it became a habit so no marks of violence injuries are found over the body it is no bleeding no swelling no pain no tenderness no injuries no marks of violence over the body and no injuries on and around anus no pain during walking and defecation local findings at and around anus funnel shaped depression of the buttocks towards the anus which is like absorption of subcutaneous fat shaving of perianal hair perianal skin may be smooth thickened and keratinized from constant regular friction epithelialization of anal mucosa loss of tone in the muscles of anus anus is dilated inelastic lax and patulous loss of rugosity of mucous membrane anus does not constrict on pinching nearby old healed fissures prolapse of rectal mucosa evidence of std syphilis gonorrhea may be present on manual examination digital examination no pain and tenderness lateral traction test place thumbs of both hands on medial aspects of buttocks near the anus and apply gentle lateral traction it causes a reflex relaxation of anal sphincter in patients who are used to anal penetration that is in habitual passive agents and b reflex constriction in those who are not experienced to anal penetration examination of active agent accused of sodomy important points accused is usually a male adult procedure of examination is the same as that for accused of rape prerequisite for examination written informed consent of accused as per section 53 and 53 a of crpc position of the victim for examination is standing position to examine his genitalia the knee elbow position to examine his anus collection and preservation of evidence examine clothes for seminal stains fecal stains blood mud hair clothes should be dried in air preserved in sterile paper bags and sent to fsl for analysis swabs a take penile swabs and washings and preserve to send to fsl for detection of semen of the adult blood fecal matter and anal mucosal cells of the victim urethral swabs taken from urethral meatus urethral discharge may show fecal matter fluids blood for venereal disease hiv and urine nail scrapings then hair head hair pubic hair loose hair or any fiber found on the accused active agent of sodomy may be of two types non habitual active agent when a person penetrates anus for the first time habitual active agent when a person has penetrated anus many times for a long period of time and he has become habitual examination of a non habitual active agent of sodomy marks of general violence over the body usually present due to struggle with the non consenting victim note all injuries size shape and exact location injuries on penis abrasions or lacerations on the prepy prepuce and glans penis redness and swelling of penile shaft tearing of frenulum material on the penis traces of fecal matter blood lubricant semen foreign hair may be found on the penis especially in coronal sulcus peculiar smell of feces and the secretions of anal glands examination of a habitual active agent of sodomy injuries on accused no but marks of general violence over the body and injuries on penis may be found if the accused target targeted a new non consenting victim penis may be elongated and constricted at some distance from glands urethra may be twisted signs and symptoms of stds gonorrhea syphilis may be found tribadism tribadism lesbianism sapism means female homosexuality any kind of sexual activities between two or more women two consenting females obtain sexual gratification by mutual manipulation of genitalia and breasts either manually or with any other mechanical devices here the penetration of anything other than penis that is dildo vibrator finger toe or tongue may occur into vagina or anus a lesbian is a homosexual woman who is romantically or sexually attracted to other women the active partner is known as butch or dyke 
and the other passive agent is known as femi the active partner usually uses a dildo strapped around waist to for penetration of passive partner usually seen in girls hostels and orphanages origin of term lesbianism the term lesbian is derived from the name of greek island lesbos where female homosexuality was practiced on the same island the queen sappho a poet 6th century bc lived who expressed affection for women in her poetry hence the term sapphic examination in the case of lesbianism same as the examination of a survivor of rape bite marks love bites scratch marks abrasions may be found on breast genitalia and perineum injuries in the vagina may be found in case of dildo as been used for penetration mla lesbians usually perform sexual activities with will or consent sometimes lesbians are deeply attached with love and emotion with each other in such case suicide and murders may be committed lesbianism is not covered under section 377 ipc so it is not an unlawful act in india if done with consent it is punishable one if practiced in public it is public nuisance and if practiced without consent and third if a child is involved sexual oralism application of a mouth to sexual organs to obtain sexual gratification there may be three conditions a female may stimulate the penis of a male or a male stimulates the genitalia of a female and both male and female stimulate the anus of each other and thus accordingly there are three types buccal coitus cunnilingus and anilingus buccal coitus or fellatio or sin of gomorrah buccal coitus or fellatio fellari to suck or sin of gomorrah or coitus per os oral sex or a blow job or irumination or fellation it means oral stimulation of penis by kissing licking or sucking it can be done by a male or a female or an animal according to bible this sinful act was prevalent in the city of gomorrah located near dead sea some related terms fellatio fellator fellator and fellate the partner who takes penis in mouth is known as a fellator other person who inserts the penis in the fellator's mouth is called fellate facial a sexual activity in which a man ejaculates semen onto the face of one or more sexual partners bukak when many men ejaculate on one female gokun women consume semen of more than one person in a cup it is usually practiced as a part of sexual foreplay examination in case of forced non consensual insertion of penis into mouth fellator semen of fellate in the mouth and pharynx of fellator injuries mainly bruises in the mouth for example lips labial frenulum pharynx injuries or bruises may be found on other parts of the body while restraining for example both ears both wrist joints take swab from mouth and pharynx for sperm fellate saliva of fellator on the penis of fellate faint teeth marks and abrasions may be seen on the penis take swab from penis for saliva mt analgesics and counseling mli if penis is inserted into mouth without consent or will of a woman above 18 years of age it will be considered as rape under section 375 ipc if the victim is less than 18 years of old then the offender will be tried according to popso act the ejaculated semen may cause accidental gagging especially when fellatio is practiced by the perpetrator with an innocent child victim and it may lead to death vatsayana first century ad had described oral sex in the ancient indian epic of kama sutra may spread stds for example hiv under hindu marriage act if a husband insists on wife for buccal coitus and if it is non consensual and repetitive it constitutes valid ground for divorce female bats perform fellatio to increase copulation time this species is the only non primate known to exhibit this behavior cunnilingus l canis vulva lingo to lick or mouth job oral stimulation of a female external genitalia by kissing licking and sucking it can be done by a male or a female or an animal anilingus or rimi oral stimulation of anus by kissing licking and sucking next heading sexual act with animals bestiality bestiality is penetrative sexual act sexual intercourse by a human with a lower animal known as bestiality it is more commonly seen in males where he performs sexual intercourse vaginal and anal with animals for example sheep goat bitch calves she ass mares and duck it is less commonly seen in females where they are engaged with male animals like dog cat or horse and bull to perform different types of penetrating non penetrating sexual acts it is seen in those persons who are generally employed to look after animals 
and they frequently go out to graze cattle in the jungle. While being alone in the jungle, they may be excited and thus indulge in such practice causes. Most often it is seen in persons suffering from some mental aberration. These people have false belief that is superstition that venereal diseases are cured by sexual intercourse with a lower animal. Examination. The person is usually young adult male caught while having sex with animal. The least animal and the accused person have to be examined. Examination of the accused of bestiality. Penis is stained with his semen, animal feces, vaginal secretions. Injuries, for example, abrasions, contusions, lacerations may be found on the body due to being kicked by the animal or biting by animal. Blood stains of animal and or feathers or hairs may be found on clothing of accused. Examination of alleged animal. Human semen may be found in the vagina or anus of the animal injuries around the genital region. MLA. Bestiality is punishable offence under section 377 IPC. The punishment is 10 years or fine or both. Under section 13.2.2 of Hindu Marriage Act, a wife can apply for annulment of marriage if the husband has been guilty of rape, sodomy or bestiality.